channel. Today we have a major closet clean out video. I'm getting rid of so much clothes. You guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, where is all the clothes going? But I definitely have a story and they are going to amazing places. So please stay tuned. But if you guys are new to my channel, hi guys, my name is Arika. I do beauty, fashion, and fitness videos here on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've been doing a lot of cleaning during this quarantine, which I love so, so much. And I will be moving really, really soon. So these videos are really helping me because I'm cleaning and I'm also condensing and donating. So I'm really, really happy that I'm doing these videos. But today, well actually, let's be real. I don't do the clean outs in like one day. It takes me many days all put together, but we are going to be cleaning three different closets. I have a closet right here in my glam room that is a walk-in closet. I have another closet over here, which is like an exposed closet. It's like an outside new clothes closet. So I don't think I'm gonna get rid of so much from there, but we'll see. And I also have a walk-in closet that is attached to my um, master bedroom. So we're gonna go through three different closets. It's going to be crazy but we are gonna get rid of a lot and de-stress and declutter it's gonna be so much fun so please follow along and watch me if you guys like these videos make sure to thumbs up the video and yeah subscribe to my channel I love you guys so much let's get started on cleaning my three closets all right guys I'm in my closet I'm actually gonna take out the stuff that I know that I'm donating out I know I kept it in here and it's actually a mess and it kind of doesn't count because I'm just taking it out, but I'm putting them in trash bags and taking them to the two charities that, I don't know what this tape thing is doing. But yeah, we're going to go through my jackets and like something like this, I think it's so cute. It was actually my storage. It was like a Hello Kitty bag, but you know, I got this and I really loved it. I definitely need to get rid of it, but... They're just pieces, some of them I just love. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So for the clothes, the trash bags are my donation bags. And I try not to fill them so crazy because they do rip and I'm carrying them by myself um, to the donation center. So I just fill them up like halfway and then um, refill another one. Um, just because I don't want them to rip and um, I want to be able to carry them one by one because when I carry them so huge they're like too heavy so even though I did work on my upper body actually on Friday I'm so sore everywhere I do an hour workout on zoom and I've been um, I have small weights but I've been doing a lot of upper body so yeah <laughs> bag was one of the first bags that I got when I started carrying a lot of stuff and shooting and I got this at Makeup Forever when I bought a lot of makeup for Makeup Forever and when I started really getting into contouring and artistry and stuff like that I got this makeup bag and I just found it in here it um yeah, it gives me a lot of memories, but I'm going to actually use this as one of the donation bags because I'm going to donate the bag and I'm going to put all these new cute duffels and stuff in there. Okay guys, so I cleared a little bit of space. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. That's just a clear bin with like literally just clear bin lids over. It's still a little bit crazy, but over here at least it's kind of clear i'm gonna actually go through the jackets and see what i can get rid of here um to donate i made three or four donation bags for the charities so let's take a look at the jackets so today is day two of cleaning out closet number one the only progress that i made is i cleared out a little bit of the bottom just spoke with the charity that i am donating to they need prom appropriate dresses so it looks like this closet maybe some of the jackets will be appropriate but my main closet has all the dresses so i will be looking through that and collecting bags for 
prom dresses. So I'm gonna still make one donation pile and I think by the end of the video when I'm actually going to the donation center, I'm going to make a prom appropriate dresses and prom appropriate thing. The makeup will go as well as the clothes. So I know at least I'm gonna organize it that way. I'm super overwhelmed in this closet because I actually really love a lot of this stuff and this is the same feeling that I felt when I started cleaning the glam room and I did it. I didn't think I would ever see the day, but we're gonna do this. We're going to clean this and try to get rid of stuff. So I'm gonna make a donation bag, a trash bag, and some stuff to keep. And then some stuff to keep is also going to remain in here. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, it's crazy in here. I didn't think I was gonna find all these things. And I just found a bunch of stuff that were totally throwback. Like, it's just crazy. So, obviously this is like my Louboutin box. It's like one of my first Louboutins. I found my old camera that my dad got me, my first YouTube camera, and I dropped it so many times that this lens, like the viewfinder won't close and you know i don't throw it away because it still works i just never fixed it this is one of my first uh not first i had so many digital cameras this is actually a camera that i was using um up until not too long ago actually it was my vlogging camera so this is just one of them i just found this camera box and i also found like this old like photo thing and like one of the magazines that i was in Oh my gosh, so funny. I have other ones too. This is, I have other ones where I'm like on the cover, but let me find. I know I'm in here somewhere. Wait, I should have found, I should have looked at the table of contents. Wait, am I in this or no? I thought it was. Maybe I'm not. Oh wait, but my name is here. Why does it say Japanese delight? model Arika Sato page 102 what month is this and what year okay this is February March 2014 oh that's actually oh six years ago there was one that I did on the cover of import tuner and that was 2010 so that was like 10 years ago but let me find okay page 102 Arika Sato oh my gosh this is so funny um, and all of my socials and my measurements and my hometown and I used to live in Beverly Hills and I'm a Gemini. This is so funny. And then look at this, like my interview. So fun. I think there's more pages. Oh yeah, there's so many more pages. And all these. Oh, this is different. But yeah, this is so cute. And old school, throwback, one of my magazines. All right guys, so now we are going to attack the top. There's some weird stuff up there. Those up there are just shorts. I do have a housekeeper that helps me and she was like, it's best if you put your shorts up there. But I feel like I could probably get rid of some of them. I do need a step stool to get up there, but I'm going to go through all of this up here. Let's 
like this wig head. I feel like I don't even wear wigs. Oh. It's on this side of the place because all my dresses are over there but it's so nice if you guys want to see the picture of me wearing it it is right here my birthday this year is probably going to be spent in quarantine because it is in may um but it's okay i've had literally the craziest funnest birthday parties for like the last over the last decade like longer than the decade like i've had crazy fun birthday party so I've celebrated enough all right so this is like a scarf thing so I forgot to tell you guys I just got off the phone with my friend Ko who founded a project she's actually been in a bunch of my vlogs and she just started or she's had this um project for the transgender community and the lgbtq community they teach the members or people that you know visit or come see her makeup and um give them little gift bags and stuff like that so i'm actually going to donate to the aphrodite project as well so i'm gonna link everything and like put everything here but i just got off the phone with her and i was like oh yeah i'm cleaning up my glam room and my closets and what a perfect time because the assistance league only accepts prom attire so like all my little furry like scarves and stuff and the dresses and like gloves and like fun glam makeup and shoes i'm gonna donate those things to the assistance league and to the aphrodite project i'm gonna donate glam clothes and makeup but i'm able to donate things that are not just prom appropriate so different clothes and things that i have so i thought that was amazing it was like the perfect timing she called me and she was like how's everything going and i was telling her and i just thought that was like the most perfect timing to like be able to donate to places because i did have a hard time finding places like i have donated to different women's shelters and centers but um it's cool that i have friends in my community like my friends that have these projects that are able to tell me like what happens with that and stuff like that you know what i mean so i can like even visit she said i could even visit well not now but after covid um and lockdown i'm able to visit and i'll be able to see where the stuff goes i thought that was really cool because you know i kind of want to see so all right let's go through this you know there's a jacket that i wanted to get rid of here this is a really cute bb little crop jacket i'm getting rid of really used to really love it i'm just too tired i cannot continue i ripped off my eyelashes and i'm gonna go to bed i was gonna divide the charity stuff I have to go to bed guys the closet we made some progress it is not that crazy but we will continue tomorrow and tomorrow i have quite a bit to do i have to go to gigi surprise birthday parade thing that we're not going to get out of our cars because obviously social distancing and then more cleanup and i'm super excited to do this i'm too tired to even talk but i'm too i'm so excited to clean my main closet in my that's attached to my bedroom and declutter and clean this glam room again it got crazy again there's different things that i'm doing i know i'm t talking way too much in a decluttering closet cleanup video but i just want everything that i'm donating to go 
to places that use it you know what i mean because before i used to drop it off at different places like goodwill and um this one woman center now i know specifically what all the stuff that i'm going to be donating like what they're going to be used for so i love that so i'm gonna go to bed i'm too freaking tired i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early we will be cleaning more and hopefully i can get the other closet done and that means i just have my bathrooms to clean so that's gonna be exciting okay guys bye all right guys this is the final result of my coat closet or i like to call it my new york closet because i live in la and it doesn't get too cold over here but these are all kind of like my going out jackets i wear some of these going out and also for photo shoots but yeah this is my new york closet i really really love all of these coats i try to get rid of some i actually got rid of quite a few and then one of these broke but i got rid of quite a few items and right here i don't know what to do with it that's literally an empty container so i probably will use some of the items um, when i reorganize or use some of it for storage over here is literally some stuff that i found old pictures and over there is backdrop fabrics so um, yeah, and then that's like jewelry and an empty box and then a basket of I don't even know So I have to go through that but There's complete walking space. I can walk into the walk-in closet And all of my jackets are color coordinated and this is everything that I really love so I organize these by color It looks aesthetically pleasing when it's color coordinated, but I actually like it on like how often i reach for it so i actually have the ones that i reach for a lot over here but i just rearranged it so now i don't know what's <laughs> where but it's okay it is here and yeah i just kind of love it now okay guys so we are in my main closet this is a walk-in closet so if you take a look i just set up little bags and like donation like little things down here but it is a walk-in closet and I have an Alex drawers here for my workout clothes. Some latex stuff there, like in a box. I don't know, I just like didn't know how I'm supposed to take care of latex, so it's like that. A uh, sports bra that I just got. All of my sweats <laughs> and like track suits and like jeans and random things up there the reason why it's so disheveled is because whenever i get something out like they fall some more sweatshirts up there robes and some white stuff it was color coordinated and it just got really crazy like i'm so embarrassed so this is my main closet you guys i mean i don't think it's that bad but it's been through it we're gonna fix it i'm gonna declutter because my next place I'm going to have a like room you know a really big closet so yeah we're gonna declutter because I'm not trying to make it look like that <laughs> like it's like embarrassing so we'll donate some stuff and create it is actually really hot in here because it's like deep into my place um, it's like through a bathroom and then there's a closet like in my from my bedroom so you'll see on my house tour how it is but let's declutter and do this because it is crazy it's crazy and then oh behind here is like a shoe thing it's a lot of sandals and some shoe bags but i don't really need this anymore because i'm going to organize my shoes a lot better so we'll go through this as well but that's why it doesn't like open all the way because there's a the thing behind it so all right guys let's do this Okay guys, so I know it looks really crazy, but I started to clean last night actually, just like super late, but the lighting was obviously so dark and I would have to move all the lighting in here. And right now, you guys will see my home tour, but my bathroom is here, my main bathroom. So I didn't want to put all the lights in and then I just get hot, but 
it's good today i have the ac on and i'm gonna clean this closet so i'm gonna speed it up i'm not wearing any glam today so i just wanted to get this done you know i literally have a week till i move so we need to get this show on the road because next I want to do my lingerie and bikini collection before I move into the next spot because the glam room there, I'm gonna have to build more things. So I don't know when that's going to be able to go up. You know what I mean? So I would rather show you guys my bikini and lingerie collection now while it's crazy. And I'm probably gonna get rid of some too. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. But this is going to be the not the last cleanup actually because I'm going to do bathroom and stuff too. Maybe. I don't know if the bathroom is interesting actually because I have two bathrooms that are quite crazy. But let's do this first and get this done. We're going to get this done today. Like that is what we're going to do. So I step on a step stool to get the stuff like up here. Um, yeah, let's start. <laughs> I'm on the floor of my closet and I actually just threw down all of the track suits and sweatshirts and stuff um, that I have and I can't keep all of them because I feel like I just have too many so I'm gonna try oh wait these are like fancy pants um, I'm gonna try to condense it guys I definitely have condensed my track suits or like there's some track suits and then some hoodies and sweatshirts but I've condensed a lot and I folded them the way um, Marie Kondo um, folds them so I did the comb muddy method I'm so scared to attack that area. It's like fine now. I mean, it looks crazy, but I feel like it's fine now. Like it's not falling. So I don't want to do it. So I also have room down here, but you can't really see anything because all of my clothes cover it. So I have that to attack. And then I have that to attack. And then I have the rest of my closet to do stuff. So I don't even know where to start. I'm super scared to do that part. Like, I don't even want to start. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, guys. I just knocked everything down. I know I'm going to keep these, so I put them over here. And the pants, I've already gone through them many, many times. I should go through them again, but I'm pretty sure it's like the pants and jeans that I always wear. So, I mean, I haven't touched them because... I've been in quarantine, but the jeans I'm gonna leave up here because these are all the jeans that I wear. I don't remember what this looked like before, but I'm going to show you guys a before video that I'm going to edit together. And this is after, and this is after over here. I actually got rid of quite a bit, but I know it's like, I don't know, it doesn't look neat neat. And it also doesn't look like I have that much less, but I did. So I need to clean the rest of the closet and declutter. All right, the big reveal of the closet. Oh my God, the floor is clean. All right, so this is what I condensed it to. I feel like I did get rid of a lot and I folded them and I stacked them. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I am moving and I'm actually having a bigger wardrobe situation. So. Hopefully, um, I can just put them in drawers 
And in terms of color coordinating, I didn't do too much just because when I'm moving and it's literally next week, I'm going to color coordinate it again. So I actually didn't really do too much. So aesthetically, it's like not that color coordinated, but at least this is all cleared up and nothing is on the floor. And as far as workout clothes, I'll show you guys. I have this Alex drawer set that a lot of beauty gurus have that they actually put makeup in it. This is my closet that is attached to my bedroom. I figured I would put my workout clothes here because I wear them every single day. So I'll show you guys what's inside. So this drawer is all like black bras and gray sports bras that are like singles that don't really have a matching set and i have um boxing wraps i have some from rumble and i have some pink ones that my mom and i got and yeah more rumble um wraps and then these are all sports bras that are black and i folded them all the uh, marie kondo way and these are white and gr some of them are like gray sports bras, singles as well, and some tank tops that are thin that I can wear over my outfits. And then some cover up and yoga tops and like sweaters and stuff. And it goes pretty deep, so I actually have some in the back as well. And then right here, I have all of my navy blue, dark green, and some light blue workout clothes. These are all sets, so this goes with that. This also goes with that. These two go together. They're all matching sets, so everything is a matching set. Right here is also all blue. These two go together. This is actually, these are singles, but I just have them there because they fit. And this is also blue and green. This one's navy, and that one's baby blue, and this one's all blue. Right here is all like little shorts. Some are gym shorts, some are kind of just like casual like shorts, and then biker shorts right here. And then right here I put all of my beige light nudes, like creams and um, just like nude, caramel, uh, leopard, and then purple. So kind of like the lighter muted neutrals. And then right here I have burgundy, cranberry, and black. And these are mostly like the burgundy is a set that one is a single i have some like actually a baby blue set back there and then a green set a tropical set and then most of these are black leggings by themselves and then right here i have pink like this is a pink set a light pink set this is another pink set i have a covergirl set an aloe top a black set, a red set, and then this is just a pink top. And then here we have white and grays, some white pants, another pair of white pants, a cream set, some grays, and then camo. And I have some in the laundry that I need to put back in here. But that's it for my little workout drawer thing. And then all of my clothes are hung now. I know it's like a little bit messy, but... You know, I just wanted to get a closet clean out, a proper closet clean out. So this is the bottom layer. I know it's like a little bit messy and a little bit crazy, but at least everything is hung and not on the floor. My goal was to really clean it up. And yeah, I know it looks a little disheveled, but you know, I'm gonna color coordinate it when I get to the new place. And up here, I have everything hung up as well. And yeah, it was actually really tight. Everything was like sticking up like crazy and sticking out. A lot of stuff was like, um, hung in doubles. My closet is done. Finally, oh my gosh, I never thought I would ever see the day where there was like nothing on the floor. I did it! So I'm going to, now I have to go through the bags that I actually had already divided into several different ones. So the Assistance League LA wants to just have prom appropriate dresses. So I'm going to do that, like prom appropriate dresses and accessories and makeup. And I'm going to have its own thing and that's going to go out to that place that I'm dropping it off on Thursday. And then I'm going to have that first because I know I already have a meeting Thursday and tomorrow I have to go to my new place. So tomorrow's Wednesday. So this is not, no, this is, some of it's for that. So.
Hey guys, it is donation day. So actually earlier last week I donated a few bags of clothing and makeup to the artist project. This is the project I always talk about all the time. It is the project that um, helps uh, starving artists and up and coming actors. But I already donated there. I'm probably gonna go back again. But today is a day where I actually am donating to the Assistance League LA. And these are all prom appropriate dresses, shoes, accessories, and little jackets and dusters and outfits, like cute little skirts and stuff. So I'm actually going to do two drop-offs. I'm gonna do one this week and then I'm going to do another one. But everything is prom appropriate, cute like dresses. I didn't show you guys this bag because this is a new one that I got from my main closet. But yeah, so I just did this really quick because I'm gonna be late. But yeah, I'm so excited to drop off prom appropriate dresses for the girls proms. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna drop this off and I'll try to vlog it, but I do have to wear a mask and gloves, so um, it might be a little bit hard, but I'm dropping this off and this is actually 50 total outfits, um, including dresses, shoes, bags. I even have like little bags in here, I think. I think I put a bag, I know I put a bag in here. But yeah, I have like dresses, accessories, jewelry, like little bags, jackets, dusters, shoes and then I have a big bag of unused makeup that I'm going to donate and things that I don't need so some skincare too and I'm gonna make more of these I just have to go through more of my stuff so this is it donation day you guys this is the place assistance league of LA it's cute it's like right in Hollywood it wasn't far donating just she just put some of the bags in there and then I'm just leaving it here all right guys I hope you guys like this video oh my gosh like that was so much like that was a lot of clothes it was crazy and I'm so glad they are going to special places if you guys want to check out any of the charities that I'm donating to check them out below everything's linked below if you want to see any of my other cleaning videos everything is linked below as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always and also please stay tuned for all of the moving vlogs I am moving I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be in another space I feel like it's more me and I just feel like I will be able to do everything everything more I don't know like I feel like moving is another way to invite new energy so I'm just so excited thank you guys again so much for watching all my videos I love you guys so much and I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy and I love you guys I will be doing so many more videos and workout stuff and healthy stuff and thank you so much and I think I will be cleaning and doing more of a um, shoes or lingerie or swim collection next let me know or if you guys want a bathroom clean out let me know i mean there's just so many sections of this place that i could clean so let me know in the comments below what other suggestions you guys have i gotta do it quick because i'm moving quick so thank you guys again and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.